Good morning. I am Wu Sang. Um, this, this is a big bug that was in my apartment in New York City. We call them water bugs. Y'all probably just call them big roaches, cockroaches, or whatever. I don't like them. I don't like them. I saw that in the corner of my eye and I like, I grabbed my slipper. I, I literally let out like that ah, yell and I like killed the damn thing. So I'm still like, I don't like them. <laughs> and it makes me like look around now like, ah, good morning. Oh my gosh. And I was all going to get on here and talk about exhibitionism and, you know, that that kink and and like only fans and all that. And I was it's completely threw me off. Like I was literally shaking, making my drink. Ah, I hate those things. All right. And this is right after I did this meditation this morning. You know, I'm, I'm all in my center. I'm all. Can you imagine like you're so Zen after your meditation and then you see something that like. That you're afraid of and so it's a it's great practice though in in me and me being completely centered confronting a fear and then having to go on with with the show right so good practice yay me all right so i'm back in my center now uh i want to talk about exhibitionism um i don't feel like i should this up enough i want to talk about exhibitionism i want to talk about only fans. I want to, I just, I want to talk about that this morning and Patreon and all of that stuff. I don't know why. I just want to talk about it. So yes, I do have an only fans page. Um, <laughs> I had a Patreon too, but I don't have the Patreon anymore. Just, just the only fans. Um, and the reason why I want to talk about exhibition is, is exhibitionism is because I think that people are sometimes confused when they see folks posting um, like pro provocative and really provocative is to some of y'all provocative could mean a, you know, a woman showing her ankles, right? <laughs> so um, sometimes when we see people posting provocative photos, erotic photos, nude photos, it really offends our senses. Like, like it offends our moral compass because many of us have been taught that you're not supposed to show, um, you're not supposed to show your body and that if you show your body, um, it somehow detracts from your value, right? That your value is, is wrapped up in, it, it, it detracts from your value and your specialness um, and, and that that's wrapped up in, in the idea of only specific people seeing you nude or, or seeing your body. Um, and I'm not, this is not a debate on that. And I'm, I'm not trying to get anyone to change their mind about that. I think that we're all entitled to a wide spectrum of how we want to, to work with our bodies. Right? They're our bodies, they belong to us. So if you're a person who really feels that way about your body and, and that feels good for you, I, I yes, you know? Um, and I would say the same thing for someone who, who doesn't have a problem being nude. If it feels good to you, yes. You know, if, you if, you're, if you're showing yourself, if you're, showing, if you're taking pictures of yourself, of yourself and showing yourself um, in erotic or provocative poses and, and you're, you're doing it because you want to find value or you want to gain uh, attention or you want, you want, you're looking for the same thing that someone who might not show their body is, is looking for and, and it doesn't feel good, then I would suggest you stop posting photos of yourself um, in those, in that way. Um, because seeking validation from others 
using your behavior to seek validation from others is not uh, is not very healthy. Um, and and many of us have been taught to do that from the time we were young, obviously, right? You know, you seek the validation of your caregivers, your parents, your grandparents, whoever, by performative behavior or by acting in a certain way. And you learn quickly that if you do these things you gain their favor. If you do these things, you gain their, their wrath or, or, or you know, their dislike. So it's understandable that we would then, even as adults, want to seek gratification, they want to seek validation from others. Does that make sense? Because we've been taught to do that. Um, I think next time I'm going to try to go live via StreamYard. I want to see how StreamYard works. I'm, I'm looking at different different options here for, for broadcasting live. So let's see what happens with StreamYard. Um, so people who are exhibitionists or people who aren't seeking validation at all <laughs> aren't posting pictures of themselves or doing OnlyFans or Patreon for people's approval. Or, or validation. It is not. It's really an artistic expression, no different than someone else who paints a watercolor painting and wants to put it up there or someone who's playing guitar and wants to share it with the world. Um, it's, it's, really not, it's really not about that. And, and I want us to, to, because I know there's a lot of judgment around, around a lot of that. I used to be one of those people. And, and one of the things that I said in the, in the sister circle is, is <clears throat> that I had in the, in the coven, we had our, our monthly sister circle last week and we were talking about Amber Rose's slut walk. And I was saying when it first came out, I was kind of like, I don't know about that. Me, me, I was saying that, like, I didn't know about that. <laughs> and I had to examine what offended me so. And I came to the realization and had to be honest that I wasn't offended by it. I was jealous because at the time I didn't feel like I could have that freedom. And so I was, I was just like, why did I have to do all of that? But really I wanted to do all of that. When you, when you are comfortable in who you are, you don't give a shit about what someone else is doing. As long as it's not harming someone else, right? You don't, you don't care. Like if a, if a, if a woman has a, has, a, has a Patreon or if she's a sugar baby or, or a man is a male escort or anything like that, when you're centered in you, what you don't give a shit. When you feel some surge of disgust, of anger, of offensiveness, at what someone else chooses to do with their own body, it's triggering something in you that needs to be looked at. Um, it's bringing up something for you, perhaps an experience that you had or the fact that you kind of really secretly want to be doing something like that, but you don't think you can. And so you don't want to see it because you don't want the reminder of the fact that you're not as free. And you know, and it doesn't that say you have to do it like other people do it, right? That's, but it's just a reminder that you're, whatever that version of freedom is in your own mind, that you're not as free. And you're just like, I don't want to see it. Everyone who does these things, and I speak for myself, I don't need anyone's validation. Let me tell you, let me tell you something. And then I'm a, I'm a, I'm a because this, I'm gonna say this and then break down some things. For me personally, 
I will go back and watch my stories and my videos for my own personal enjoyment. <laughs> like it's for me, like I go back and watch it as a viewer and I'm like, I like that. Like I'll laugh along with me and I'm just like, I love that. You know, like I really will just go back and watch them and watch them just, it, and it's not, it's not conceit. Conceit is this idea that one is elevated and better than everyone else. Conceit is this idea that's like, everyone else is ugly and I'm the only beautiful one. Conceit is not enjoying your own content. I mean, if you're not enjoying whatever it is you're putting out, then what the fuck? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, then, then what are you doing it for? Are you seeking validation from other people? So like, I go back and watch my stuff all the time. Like, I, I love like the videos that I post. They crack me up. They crack me up. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking about the one yesterday when I was trying to break dance. So everyone that you see who's doing these things or posting these things, or you scroll through and you're like, oh, and it's usually women, by the way. Like no one seems to care when a man posts a picture of himself in Speedos. When men, you know, have their pants hanging by the pubic bone, shirt off, you know, glistened up, shea buttered or baby oiled, women are like, ah. Yes, come through. Then turn around and see a woman in a bikini or with, with just with circles over her nipples because they can't show them. It's like, oh, she's not show all of that. Double standard much. <laughs> and I do understand the idea of the protection of a woman's body and perhaps the, the idea that it's safer for a man to do that and that if a woman does it, it's somehow not safe for her. That says a lot though, huh? About our society. If that's if that's also a thought. And and this is no, I I am not in a position to judge or tell anyone right, right to wrong. What the hell? This better not be another thing coming in here. Because I shit you not. If there's another bug in here, y'all are gonna hear me flip the fuck out. <laughs> Like I'm about to go crazy in here. <laughs> um, I have to check that in a minute. I don't like when I hear strange sounds and I don't know what's going on. That bothers me. Um, all right. This is so live, y'all. <laughs> You're watching me like work through my feet. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, we're just gonna. Let me get back on track till I see something. <laughs> um, so I just, I just want, I, you know, I know that because there's so much controversy around this, around what women can do with their bodies. Lord, what women can do with their bodies, what they can't do with their bodies. People's offense around what women are doing with their bodies, and all of this type of thing. And I think we've reached a stage where maybe. We need to examine for ourselves what what bothers us internally about that. If it's not your body, when you see it, the next time you see a photo of a woman who is barely clad, scantily clad, looking sexual, I want you to ask yourself, after you get past your initial, 
what's underneath that? Is it that, is it that it's reminding you of an experience? Is it that you were just really taught that that's completely wrong? Is it, is it a fear that if the, the, if your partner sees that they're going to want that and not want you? Um, is it that you would love to be that free and that open in your version of whatever that is and you just don't think it's possible and you're kind of envious of that person for doing it? Is it something else? And this is not suggesting that you have to, you come to a space where you like it. Being at peace with something and liking it are two different things, right? So the goal here is, is peace. I don't, I don't approve of, you know, what that is. I mean, cause really it doesn't matter whether you approve or not, but it's okay that you don't approve. I'm not a fan of it, um, but you know what? That's their choice. And just think if we were able to do that and find peace with the things that we don't approve of, how much less fighting there would be in the world? There'd be no need to argue. What are you arguing for? You're arguing to prove your rightness. I am right and everyone must, must follow me. Well, you're seeking validation. Same thing that you claim that the naked people are seeking. You're seeking validation. You want other people to agree with you. You want other people to match you in your world of rightness. Do they have to? What if you could just be in your world of rightness by yourself? Keep that in mind as well when you're, when you're finding yourself up against something and you're, and, you're, and you're wanting to argue it and you're wanting to say, this is why it's wrong. You're, you're, looking, for, you're looking for the validation as well. So then the scantily clad woman becomes a mirror for you as you accuse her of doing the very thing that you're actually seeking as well. Being a human is so much fun. <laughs> so much fun. All right, that's it for today. <laughs> I post my more provocative content on Instagram. Uh, and I'll be posting the rest of it on my OnlyFans. <laughs> and it's not for validation and it's not to make $5,000 a month. How many people are actually doing that? Some are, some aren't. It's because it's an artistic way of expression for me. For me, I can only speak for myself. It's a way to feel fully embodied in who I am and in my sensuality. It's a way to, to share that. It's a way for me to put time in and edit photos and add things to them and just make it a whole experience, you know? And for the time and energy that I put into that, I absolutely agree that there should be some sort of energetic exchange. And to me, Money is simply an energetic exchange. So money is a tool like a hammer. It's to be used for sure. But I don't do things to get the hammer. So yes, there should be, I'm putting something out there. Energetic exchange, it's the, it's the flow, it's the natural flow of the universe. Is that, hopefully that makes, that makes sense for you in your own life and maybe you can find ways to create energetic exchanges for yourself. All right, that's it for today. Now I gotta investigate what the hell this sound was over in my corner. I'm hoping it's just my neighbors doing something strange. It's times like this that I'm like, that I wanna do here. So I can be like, can you go check that out please? <laughs> Cause I don't wanna. I love you all. I will see you here tomorrow. Have a good day. <laughs>